Now, one of the, the topics I wanted to talk to you about, because it's a cross section between, I think, aesthetics and health are hair treatments and this idea of, you know, strong, thick hair. And I, I was just curious, uh, you know, what do you advise? Are there products? Do you like products like Nutrafol and other ones that are out there now that use more natural ways? Or do you recommend things again, like minoxidil and others for, for of course, men in that case, probably not so much for women, but wh where do you fall on this line of how do you make healthier, stronger, thicker hair? Mm -hmm. Well, I actually get asked this quite a bit by my both male and female clients, right? Uh, men and women lose hair differently. So for, for men and women, the baldness patterns are different. So for women, we lose our edges and then we lose hair here. And for men, it's, it's a different type of pattern. So there are uh, some really great at-home options that you can do, including at-home microneedling. Now I'm not advising you go on Amazon or eBay and buy that $20 roller. That's probably coming from the Orient. That's full <laughs> of heavy metals that up close under the microscope, that needle might actually be a blade. So I'm fortunate enough that the godfather of dermal rolling actually lives in the city where I live. And I'm pretty chummy with his research assistant that did their uh, collagen induction therapy studies in the nineties. So just reach out. I'll walk you through how to integrate dermal rolling into your routine because there is a method to the madness. You got to stabilize the skin first and integrate actives and integrate rolling mm -hmm. and just find that um, helps to uh, create a better level of like tolerability. So that being said, I believe I might have one out. Oh, lucky me. Mm. They're right here. I just uh, did a consult right before this. So I have my stuff here. So there are things like dermal rollers that you can actually roll the hairline. And that being said, I find that sometimes like a stamper, like a small one, uh, you know, these are from South Africa. This company's again, been making rollers since the nineties. That stuff matters. You pay for what you get. You can get rollers that can last up to two years versus that five to 10 use, which is just a terrible uh, creating terrible waste for the environment as well. Yeah. But you can actually, um, with a specific uh, product I can get organized for you, go into your hairline. And then I actually work with a few serums that are locally made that are free of emulsifiers, preservatives, stored in glass bottles. that are actually used in some of the initial studies with collagen induction therapy that also showed promising results with hairline stimulation as well. So you can actually use some of these stampers to get into the other areas of the hair as well. Uh, you can use things like minoxidil afterwards. There are some cardiac implications for that. Mm -hmm. It is medicine. So you do just want to check in with your doctor, but there is a great in clinic option that you can do as well. So there was like a facial treatment that added on a hair application and I'm seeing some promising changes with that. And I'm not going to say exactly what that treatment name is. I have to be very careful about that because it might not be right for you. So just ask me and I'll, I'll go over that with you. But yeah, I think that there's definitely some promising products coming on the market. I do like to follow a good seven, eight year rule just for safety and efficacy. I've never been one of those cowboy treatments and that's what served me and my clients very well over this 10 and a half year period, 20,000 rejuvenation procedures later, you don't always want to go with like that bright, shiny object syndrome because of long-term unknown safety issues. And also you want it to be efficacious. So I can definitely uh, walk through, but yes, there's some great at home uh, in clinic options, hair transplantation uh, also is great too. It can make some recommendations for that as well. I have seen some of my clients, uh, some of my colleagues rather get great results with PRP for hair stimulation as just well. Just about to ask you. Yeah. But it's technician dependent. Of course. So you do have to like be aware of that uh, before spending thousands of dollars on things that certain things are going to be done better than others in the right hounds. Yeah, it really is. Again, uh, I think you need the help of an expert such as yourself because we have an anti aging division here, and there are so many options. You can do the the uh, you know micro uh, needling with different you know um, uh, formulas and solutions. You, we have the PRP. There's ways to even personalize, do mega dose PRP and concentrate it. And, you know, but that's not right for everyone. So you can't just. I I don't want to do like I appreciate that you're saying. I'm not just going to put it out there. 
because anyone could Google that and say, I want that and go to the cheapest route. And there, there's something about in health and Google's beauty. probably going to show you those. Yeah, I know. It, oh, they definitely <laughs> will too. because they have the biggest profit margin and put the most in advertising, not in research yeah. and you know, safety standards. So, <laughs> but you know, how do you feel about that when patient or, you know, clients come to you and kind of try and always look for the cheaper solutions? I mean, it happens in medicine all the time. Unfortunately, you come to a clinic like ours, it's not cheap. I, I wouldn't ever say that. But the value is there. It's just like anything else. You pay a lot for a car. You know the value is usually there. You pay a lot for nice TVs and I paid a grand for and, my Jeep. <laughs> well, that's different. And by the way, my first car was a 1994 Jeep Wrangler, and I love it. My brother still has it to this day, and it still runs. So, um, but... How do you kind of tackle that? Because in my book, you know, uh, basically you pay for what you get. And if there's one area that you really want to care about the results, it's your health, anti everything. This is you. It's not like, oh, I didn't get the best tires and, you know, they just didn't look. All right, that's great. It's not your health at the end of the day and it doesn't lead you to disease or looking a certain way. So 